person growing up in Soweto, there were stories that I was told by my uncles. I still remember the burning of tires. The learners were fighting against inferior education. It is the learners in the schools who put up a very big fight against the system. Students were painting tires all over the streets of Soweto, so the area was full of snow. were open to us blacks. Many people wanted to see their children attending those schools. And those schools ended up being white elephants. The school actually was in Tatas. The area is full of snakes. There was too much, you know, criminal activities going on there. Mishimano Khaile Musfaten se sekilinga mo mrawa haso. This time around, we are saying the tire, you can survive out of it. One tire, that tire can actually benefit every family. Hatong is an area that was derailed in a way and then it was not being used. So we saw that for us to can maybe give Mehatong a lifespan, we then need to tap in and bring some uh, innovation and element of creativity within this. So even if you don't have uh, a land or a space where you can plant, but a tire, you can survive out of it. We are eating fresh organic food. And at the very same time, this is food that is not contaminated from any chemicals because we are anti-chemicals in this uh, project. Two thousand and eleven. That's when we started, and I still remember it was on the sixth of February when we started the initiative of uh, planting uh, or maybe going green rather. So we are dealing with uh, fresh produce. The cabbage, the carrots, beetroot, spinach. According to, to, to the youth that I'm engaging with here, one, I've somehow sensed there's an element of discipline amongst them since they've been involved here. I felt uh, very happy when I saw the dead thing that I planted growing. <laughs> It taught me a lot of things, yeah. And for the very first time, seeing uh, a crop, you know, crippling out of the, the soil, it was something that was exciting, fulfilling, you know, that uh, inner joy, something that you can't even explain in a way. Everybody's going to taste one spoon, one spoon. How oh, am I cook my Yeah. Kaka pap. No, don't cook pap. So good is a prison cake. <laughs> For that particular day, you went to bed, you know, satisfied, you went to bed peacefully. Not even any ordinary person would have had an opportunity of seeing something grown, because it's like, you know, nurturing a young one, a child. <laughs> 